When life knocks you down, can you pick yourself back up or do you allow yourself to get overwhelmed and your ability to rise to the challenge? Do you know what it means to be mentally strong? Being mentally strong is about being resilient and pushing on despite adversity, not avoiding it altogether. Hey everyone, welcome to Highly Successful You. Today we're going to talk about the 10 secrets to becoming mentally strong. Someone who is mentally strong is in tune with themselves, their own bodies, and their emotions. These mentally strong people can seem like superheroes in a sense because they can unlock the door of courage and bounce back stronger when the storms of life hit them. They don't push their feelings down or avoid them. They work through them and grow from setbacks. It can feel impossible to do this if you've never tried, but today we've got some secrets to making it all a little bit easier and helping you push past the most challenging times in your life into success or happiness instead. So with that, let's get right into it. Number one, practice self-reflection. Being mentally strong means taking steps to define yourself outside of other relationships or situations in your life. If you know yourself, you know who you are as a person. Often we forget we should sometimes be the center of our own world. When you have an ill-defined sense of self, you'll lose your understanding of your own identity. You can start your own journey for self-reflection by making more mindful habits for yourself, like journaling your thoughts and expressing your feelings as you feel them. Ask yourself thought-provoking questions and dig into what your aspirations and dreams are to better understand your own values, beliefs, goals, and priorities. Number 2. Stop Seeking Validation People often care too much about other people and allow their views and opinions to dictate their lives. We can become needy, insecure, and codependent when we do this. Seeking validation means buying into the inherently flawed idea that someone else's happiness matters more than our own. Sometimes we don't care about our happiness at all, and it can hold us back from living as freely, happily, or authentically as we should. Being a people pleaser can feel nice when you feel appreciated for what you do, but it can also cause you to make decisions that don't serve you in the long run. Seek validation from yourself, and only yourself, daily. Number 3. Set your own goals. It's easy to get caught up in the expectations, plans, and ideas of others. Parents, teachers, partners, and friends alike can all affect how we feel, what we need, or what we might want to do. Setting your own goals and making plans for yourself can give you a better idea of what you want and where you want to grow. Believe in yourself and your choices and learn to assert your independence. This will inevitably upset people who have come to expect compliance, but it will help you in the long run. This will make you mentally stronger and happier, more confident, more motivated, and more content. Number 4. Find Ways to Stay Motivated you will meet setbacks no matter what you do, as failure and hardships is part of life. No matter how good you think you've gotten, how much progress you've made, or even how far you've come, life will be filled with new obstacles and challenges. That's just how hardships and struggles come with good times and success. You're not doing yourself any favors by complaining about it, so learn to look at these setbacks as opportunities to grow, learn, and challenge for the better. If you find ways to motivate yourself along the way, you'll be able to counter the frustrations or inconveniences with something from within. Even in failures, there are lessons to be learned. Number five, learn to let go. There's a vast difference between giving up and letting go. You're not giving up by letting things go. Things sometimes just happen and you won't have any control over them. This is part of life, and the longer you hold on to these things, the longer you'll be allowing them to hold you back. Letting go of these things isn't giving up, but it often carries with it a negative stigma. Let go of your failures and move past them. You're not doing any favors by fixating on them, so why are you? Number 6. Stop comparing yourself Nothing good comes out of constantly comparing yourself to everyone else, so why do it? Stop feeling sorry for yourself and obsessing over what you believe others have that you don't. Resenting people for their gifts and being threatened will only further highlight the things that you don't have and make you more miserable in the meantime. You don't need to knock others down to lift yourself up. In fact, it's hard to move past that mindset once you've gotten into it. Focus on the good things that you have going for you and start cultivating a more positive attitude towards the world instead. Number 7. Recognize and eliminate toxicity. 
This is easier said than done, especially when the toxicity comes in the form of someone that you care about. Toxic people and situations will stay in your life and control it as long as you give them what they want. Maybe it's a friend who asks for money or someone who wants all your time. Perhaps it's a job you feel tied to or a hometown holding you back. Toxicity can take all shapes and forms. A significant part of becoming mentally strong or building your mental strength will be recognizing and growing from these people and situations and not letting them trap you. Eventually, these people and situations need all of your attention, energy, and life, significantly affecting your mental state. Pull back slowly and you'll feel your energy return, and you'll feel more in control. Number 8. Test Your Patience Good things take time in life. Patience is key. Be patient with yourself, others, and situations you find yourself in. Trust yourself and trust that you're exactly where you need to be so you can enjoy the journey. Remember, life isn't a race. Stop rushing to get to the finish line. Always focusing on your next goal, the next challenge, or the next step will only burn you out and make you bitter, jealous, and unhappy. Relax and enjoy the ride from time to time. You can take your time to grow, learn new things, and build bonds with people. Life has so many simple pleasures you can take part in along the way. What's the harm in slowing down to allow yourself that? Number 9. Expose yourself to new experiences. To grow, you need to pull yourself out of the usual. Nobody grows from the same old things because complacency will cause you to accept things as they are. Nobody likes anxiety, and trying new things can be anxiety-provoking. However, if you're living in a cycle that you could see yourself living forever, but you need to change, then you need to find ways to break out of it. Change is a part of living, and you need to sometimes look for your own opportunities to introduce these changes into your life. Number 10. Take care of yourself. Self-care is an essential strategy in building resilience and can help keep your mind and body well enough to deal with hardship. Taking care of yourself means meeting your own needs and paying attention to your feelings. Engage in the sort of activities that bring you joy and relaxation, whatever that may look like. Remember the little things you enjoy. You'll burn yourself out if you're always on. Everyone needs to learn to set aside some time that's only for themselves and their own enjoyment. Being mentally strong isn't an on and off switch. You have to make a series of choices in your everyday life to make sure you're doing things for yourself. These might be some tricks to help you stay in tune with your mind and your needs. But the most important thing is showing up for yourself and being in your own corner. It can be easy to fall back on self-pity or allow others to take the reins. But this does nothing for you in the long run. By showing up and doing things for yourself, You'll feel more invested in your own happiness and success, and less likely to fall prey to the pitfalls of disappointment. That brings us to the end of today's video. Are there any thoughts that you'd like to share? Drop it down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.